Sketchfab is a fantastic resource for anybody wanting to explore the world from the comfort of their computer. It's a website that stores and displays 3D models generated by its users. These models include pretty much anything you can think of. Head to sketchfab.com right now, use the search bar at the top of the page, and I can almost guarantee you'll find something amazing. Whether you're a teacher, student, animator, or just somebody who wants to play around, there will be something here to interest you. As part of my geological research, I have created a few models of interesting rocks, minerals, fossils, and even entire outcrops that can be viewed on this website. Today I would like to use them as examples to show you how to make the most out of Sketchfab. First let's go over navigating a model in virtual space. Then we will look at sharing models, perhaps for a class project. Finally, I will show you how to download a model and load it into Blender, a popular modeling and animation program. The really great thing about Sketchfab is that it's mobile friendly, so the controls are quite simple. When you click on a model you like, you will see a screen like this. The model itself appears in a window on the left, and on the right are some related or recommended models. Let's hover over the left window and select full screen in the bottom right corner to see everything more clearly. To rotate the model in virtual space, just click and drag with your mouse. On mobile, you hold your finger against the screen and move it in the direction you want. The default navigational mode is orbit, which means that this motion causes the camera, you, to orbit around the geometric center of the model. You can also zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, or by pinching in and out with two fingers on mobile. Right click or drag with two fingers on mobile to shift the camera sideways, up or down. This is the default mode because it allows you to fly around the model quickly and efficiently. There is another navigational mode called first person. To access it, click this gear icon and select navigation, first person. The camera no longer orbits around the model, instead the camera is fixed in place and rotates around itself, like a person turning their head to look in different directions. In this mode, zooming in and out actually moves the camera forward and backward. This type of navigation may be better for virtual field trips, because it simulates the experience of actually walking through an area. A lot of models include annotations which are indicated by these numbers. Clicking on any one of them will bring up a panel like this, which may contain text, images, or links to other websites. Annotations are the best way to include extra information with a model. For example, this model represents an outcrop about 800 meters across, and annotations are used to provide context or point out smaller scale features. One thing to be aware of is that excessively large annotations sometimes go beyond the edges of your screen, especially on mobile devices, so try to view models on the largest screen available. Annotations are generated within Sketchfab's engine, which means you can switch them off at any time. Simply right click on the Select an Annotation box and click the very top option, which says Hide or Show Annotations. Hiding them lets you see just the model with no numbers on top. There are several great options for sharing a model with your friends, colleagues or classmates. In my experience, the easiest method is to send a direct link. Exit full screen mode and click on Share. A direct link to the model is generated automatically, and clicking the blue Copy button is all you need to do with it. Just paste the link into an email or a message by pressing Ctrl and V, and you can send it to whoever you want. You will also see specific options for sharing on social media, such as your Facebook profile, and for embedding the model in your own website if you have one. Sometimes you will see this button as well, Download 3D Model. If you can see that, it means the creator of the model is happy for you to download and open it up on your own computer. Click the button and a panel like this will pop up. It shows information about copyright and lets you choose which format you want to download. I recommend trying the original format option, which for my models is always OBJ. 
Make sure you take note of the copyright information at this point, because it will determine what you can do with the model on your own system. CC attribution means you need to credit the original creator if you share the model on another website or use it as part of your own project. In this case, that creator is me, so it shows you my details on the right side of the panel. Non-commercial means you're not allowed to sell the model for financial gain. I don't want people making money off something I originally provided for free. Finally, share alike means that if you do share this model elsewhere, it needs to be under the same CC attribution non-commercial share alike license that I applied. Click the learn more button if you're confused about any of this, or if there are different terms shown in the license that you don't recognize. Let's quickly look at what you can do with a 3D model on your own system. If you're interested in modeling and animation, I highly recommend starting with Blender or Art of Illusion. These are great programs for learning, with Blender being the more powerful one and Art of Illusion being easier and more intuitive to use. This is what the current version of Blender looks like on a MacBook. To open the model you just downloaded, go to File, Import, and Import OBJ, or whichever format you chose. You may notice additional files were downloaded along with the OBJ. One of them is usually a texture file that applies colors and patterns to the model. There should be another one containing metadata. As long as you don't change the file names, all of these will be loaded into the program together. And there we have it. With the wide range of tools available in Blender and other programs, you can now resize, reshape, and restructure the model to suit your purposes. Just keep in mind the copyright information. Some Sketchfab users do not want their models to be altered. I will leave it there for now, but if you want to know more or see how I create 3D models, please let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you found this video helpful or at least a bit interesting. Feel free to leave a like to show your support and subscribe to my channel for more science videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.